Hi everyone, Laura here, welcome back to my channel! I got a mystery parcel from Paper Mill Direct with a few samples. So in today's video I'm going to show you different type of papers and a few examples of my cards using those. If you haven't visited the Paper Mill Direct website until now, I do recommend you to do so. It's like paper heaven there. They have paper, cards, envelopes and much more. So let me show you the papers I received. The first one is the White Hammer Embossed 255 GSM. It's a very thick card. Uh, it has a bit of texture on it and I think it goes really well with watercolors. The next one is the Ivory Card Linen 255 GSM which has a pretty texture and is really smooth as well. I also have a white card, super smooth, 250 GSM. I haven't got the, the chance to try it yet, but I intend to do so. The next one is the craft card, it's 250 GSM, it's really sturdy. This is a craft card as well, it's called Craft Serio Pearl Embossed, it's 290 GSM. It has a different color than the regular craft card. It's uh, thicker, it has a bit of texture and uh, a bit of shine on it. I also got a few colored cards. This is the Perla Serio Color Card 290 GSM. It's like a light gray silver shade. I also have two shades of uh, pink. This is the Nude Serio Color Card 290 GSM. The next one is the Rose Gold Serio Pearl double sided card which is 300 GSM. It's obviously thicker and it has a shine on it. It has a light color as well. So the next one is the Aquamarina Tunolinen 280 GSM. It's a color card and is really sturdy and it has a texture on it, obviously. The next one is the Spring Green 240 GSM, it's a color card. And the last one is the Purple Rain Cocktail 290 GSM. It's really sturdy and it has a shine on it. It's like the, a pearl card and I really love the color. I also got two envelopes matching the silver and the pink cards. Now let me show you a few things I've done with the cards from the mystery parcel. The first one I used is the white hammer embossed card. For this card I use watercolors. Uh, I really like the card because it gives a bit of texture to your greeting card and it goes well with watercolors but you have to work quickly as it absorbs the water really really fast. This is another example using the same card with watercolors. colors. 
The next card I used is the Ivory Card Linen 255 GSM. Now what I've done with this one, I tried to print one of my wedding invites and I think it goes really well. Uh, it prints really well on it and it gives a bit of texture, especially for this type of cards with watercolor elements. And for my last example, I used the Spring Green card and the Aquamarine Tuno Linen. And I created this type of shadow box card. So I used the Spring Green for the front of the card and the Aquamarine Tuno Linen for the back because it's uh, sturdier. And in the middle, I inserted a vellum element. It's uh, some sort of jellyfish. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting more projects using the cards I received from Paper Mill Direct. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. So don't forget to subscribe. Happy crafting!